Hey guys, it's Tasha Lenise and I am back with another video. This video is going to be a week in my wash and go. I always see these type of videos and I really enjoy them. Um, a lot of people ask me, what do I do to my hair at night? How do I, you know, wrap my hair at night? I do have a video on ways to preserve your natural curly hair at night. I will link, link that video down below in the description box. But I just wanted to do a week in my wash and go just to show you guys how my curls last throughout the week. So this is like day one hair. Um, I did it today. I promise you guys I will show you the review on these products. This is my second time using this. The first time it was eh, okay. So I'm going to try it again. So far, I like it. Um, I did it different than the first time. <clears throat> I didn't do it on Soak and Wet Hair, but when I do the review, I'll get into all that. But I did use the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk Rice Milk and Mac Macadamia Oil uh, Leave-In, y'all. I've used this leave-in four times. I really like it. It's really moisturizing and I am down to here. Y'all, like I'm running. I don't know why, but the Camille Rose stuff, I'm running through it. Like I'm in love. And I also use the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. This gel, using it twice, I'm right here. I can see just a little bit of it. So, I will have that. Um, yeah. So, this is my hair. These are my curls. So, I think I'm just going to, you know, this trick from Kimberly, this intro is long, I'm sorry, but, um, this trick from Kimberly Sherrill is amazing, like, I love her wash and go tips, because her wash and go is the bomb, but she said to, like, put the gel that you're using, put it down, and then smooth it with a comb, and then put these little clips on it. I don't know where they are. I have to show you. I'll show you when I do this thing. But y'all, it works good because it keeps this hair out of my face. But right now, I'm just going to take all my hair to the front. Hopefully, that don't mess up that. Because usually, only because I want to stretch this a little bit. Take this to the front. And this scarf, this is Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils. It came in my May curl box. I didn't do a video on the May because um, I don't think y'all want to see that every month. I might do it like periodically okay I'm trying to so I got my scarf on this scarf feels so good but I don't want this to roll out roll around on my pillows either even though I'm not that wild of a sleeper I'm just going to put my bonnet on over it And these are my day one night curls. So check with you guys in the morning to see me. <laughs> Thank you. 
so this is the next morning these are my considered day two hair um my bonnet did not come off at night that's what i do love about my bonnet with or without a scarf it usually doesn't come off the scarf also did not come off so you just see me here showing you guys it in the scarf it is bunched up a little bit but you'll see how i handle that during the day i mean in the morning times i just take off my hair and i literally shake for my life to the side and you know the other side <laughs> um i have a bad habit of putting on earrings and lip gloss before shaking out my hair and the lip gloss usually gets stuck to my lips that's why i put my lips in and then my earrings are smacking me in the face i really don't have much to do to my hair the next day usually with most products and for this product it is no different so i'm just kind of fluffing it out a little bit to bring it back to life so the curls won't be smushed because it was in a pineapple and in a bonnet all night making sure my edges are still soft and laid but as you can see my curl definition is definitely still there for the most part day two i'm loving the curls like i'm i'm really loving them this uncle funky's daughter y'all if when i can't wait until the video comes out on how i did it so i can explain to y'all how it came out to me the first time but yeah these are my day two results morning time this is day two night as you can see this is after a work day curls pretty much still look the same just giving you guys an overview i am about to get my scrunchie put it up in a pine pineapple you know do the same thing that i did last night i'm gonna kind of speed up this process a little bit so you guys can just see excuse the moment of the lawn dogged work at work <laughs> so i am exhausted i'm about to eat real quick and um and go to sleep so day three this is the night
just real quick um first of all i'm loving my day four curls they're still popping like it's day one but i do use the clips just to clip the hair out of my face because as my hair gets bigger over the days it kind of falls more in my face and i don't like that and also excuse my hair and how it looks kind of when i turn around in the back i do fix it just wanted to clarify that and throw that in there so we are on day five hair um yeah i was trying to think what number day we on skipped all that taking off the bonnet all that other good stuff shake 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 you know what we've been doing all week y'all but this is day five hair now listen i thought i was gonna have to do like major refreshing right so that's why a little bit i'm looking a little confused a little salty which in a good in a good way i'm like y'all my curls is still popping like they still looking like day one and i thought i was gonna have to show y'all how refreshing will work and i really don't have to but i am seeing just really one main part where that could use a little refreshing so that is what i did use and i use the care care curl essence moisturizing cocoa water i just sprayed a little bit of that on and then i took some more of the uncle funky's daughter curly magic curl stimulator put that on just a little bit and then i just kind of took the curls and retwisted them just so i can re you know activate the curl a little bit but really that was the only part that needed um refreshing this is my last day recording with this but this lasted me eight days i think like on day seven or day eight was when i finally put it up in like a little bun or something really just the top part so i will leave a picture um of how my hair looked on day eight and you know just to show you guys i would highly recommend this product i like i said a video will be coming on it soon so stay tuned for that um if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment and please subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye